Our last two examples of integration with the inverse trig functions deals with the uh, secant inverse form. Remember, this has the extra factor of the variable in front. Also, it needs to be variable squared minus constant squared inside the radical. If it's not, then something else needs to be done. You'll handle that in Calc 2. But if, if it is this form, then this is the secant inverse form, and the result has 1 over A. Secant inverse has the absolute value present. So I have a couple examples, and that should be pretty straightforward. So the first, I think, is pretty obvious. We have secant squared of x over tangent of x square root tangent squared of x minus 1. So this is variable expression squared minus constant squared. This is the seat. We're going to try to see if we can make this fit the secant inverse form. By the way, if you try to make it fit one of these forms, if it doesn't perfectly fit the form, then this is not the method to use. You'll use some method that you'll come up with in Calculus 2. At this stage of the game, it must work. It's the only method we have at this stage of the game. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you something that requires a Calc 2 technique. And so uh, this is the secant in inverse form. We have to account for u and we need to account for a. Well, in this case, the variable, the constant that's getting squared is just 1. u, the variable expression getting squared, is tangent of x. And this implies the differential line. Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And that is precisely what we wanted it to be. The substitution is exact. And so... So this is equal to just replace everything. Secant squared x dx translates as du, and we have 1 in the numerator because everything vanishes. Now notice, tangent of x is u outside the square root. Inside the square root, we have tangent squared, which is u squared, minus 1, which is a squared. And so this is precisely the secant inverse form write out the answer of the secant inverse form. 1 over a, secant inverse. If you prefer writing arc sine, arc tangent, arc secant, I don't care about that. That's fine. Go ahead and write arc sine, arc tangent. I will typically write secant inverse form, tangent inverse and sine inverse. This is absolute u over a plus the constant, and then fill in the details. a is 1, so we can simply write 1. Secant inverse of absolute u is absolute tangent. And I'm just going to put over 1 just to fill it in, and we're out. So that's our first little example of secant inverse form. Again, it's sort of a variation on the u substitution, but you have this extra little quirk of playing with this coefficient a, or this constant value a. All right, so let's play one more. And then we'll just get out of Dodge with these. So the last one of these we'll play is it's the antiderivative of 1 over, we have x times the square root of 3x squared minus 2. So this is variable squared minus constant squared. We have a variable expression out front. This smells like it might well be the secant inverse form. Let's see if we can make it fit. Um, so what is getting squared here is not 3x. What's getting squared here is the square root of 3 times x. Remember, this is square root 3 times x quantity squared. That's what's actually getting squared here. So we're going to have u equal to that expression. Radical 3 times x, because that's what's getting squared. And then a is the square root of 2. That's what's getting squared. And then we need the differential here. So the derivative with respect to u, we have the derivative here. It's the square root of 3. And I don't want that. I don't want radical 3 dx. I just want dx. So divide that out. This should not be a problem. That's a constant. 1 over radical 3 du is equal to dx. And the substitution is exact. Ah, it's not quite exact. Look, because we have x. We don't, we, look, we have x. This is similar to the double linear scenario. 
What is x equal to? x is equal to divide both sides by radical 3. Uh, so we have uh, 1 over square root 3 times u is equal to x. Right? We had to solve for value for x. So there's an extra little quirk with this secant inverse form. So now let's see if we can fill everything in. What does x translate to? x translates into 1 over radical 3 times u square root of 3x squared translates as u squared. This thing squared is that thing squared. Minus, this is a squared. And then dx is all we have. dx is we have a 1 over 1 over radical 3 du. Now, this constant is tricky. This is the trickiest bit with the secant inverse. Because what we have here is 1 over square root 3. But this is in the denominator. This is in the denominator. So there are a couple ways to handle this. Remember, one way to do this is this is 1 divided by a fraction. To divide by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. You multiply by the reciprocal. And so this becomes square root of 3 in the numerator because you need to multiply by the reciprocal. Alternately, and I think I, this is the way I like to see it. This is the way I tend to see this. I have 1 over square root of 3. This is a constant multiplier. I'm just going to bring it outside. But what is it? It is a 1 over radical 3 in the denominator. It is a 1 over radical 3, but it's already in the denominator. It needs to come out in the denominator as 1 over radical 3. And then we're going to simplify it here in a minute. Everything else is the same. So handling this little coefficient is the snotty part. And then radical 3 here times 1 over radical 3, those cancels. We're left with just 1. And so th everything here cancels out. We're left with just the secant inverse form. And so what do we have? 1 over A, secant inverse of absolute U over A plus the constant. And A is radical 2. So you do not need to simplify this. Our uh, uh, absolute value of u is absolute radical 3x over a is radical 2 again plus the constant. So be very cautious with this coefficient. We created one and we created another because of this little fiddly bit we had to take care of here. This is 1 over radical 3 in the denominator, and coincidentally, they happen to cancel out. That doesn't always occur, but sometimes it does, and that's my secant inverse form.